Hello everybody and welcome back to the safe hour. We are jumping in again and it is time, baby, for a record-a-thon. It is a record-a-thon for me. I, um... Shall I play as Fiend? Fiend is a pretty fun one. Let's give Fiend a go. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few videos to record here because i got to prepare for the weekend and I've got no backlog right now. So I'm going to be recording three videos back to back. Let's go. It's Isaac time. The biggest issue about doing that is always the questions of the day. I can never think up three of them off the top of my head. I can't even think of one right now. Um, question of the day number one. What's the most fiendish thing you've done? There you go. It's related to the character I'm playing, you see? Easy. What is the most fiendish thing you've done? And I don't know, I'd class fiendish as something that's like, not, not downright bad, but like, probably could be frowned upon. Oh, thank you for the heart, my good sir. Thank you for the health up, my good sir. Oh, baby. We cooking with gas now. Okay, these guys are horrible. Which ones are these again? I can never remember. Oh, God, it's this one. I hate this one. Luckily, he dies pretty fast. Oh, especially when he bonks himself into a fire. That is what I like to see. Um, right. I just, I'm going to have to sort of... Give myself a little bit of an update on how the fuck to play this guy again. Because my brain, he's small. He, real small. He don't really remember how to do things properly. Uh, Peeper's eye, honestly not bad. Tears shot do extra damage from the other eye. And a golden bomb? This is why you press buttons, people. This is why you press buttons. Button pressing has never, ever been a bad idea. Also, forget we start with such marvellous stats as this guy. Lots of extra speed. Slightly lower fire rate, I realise, but eh, otherwise pretty pretty damn spicy, if I do say so myself. Um, I'm just going to place a bomb here. Yes, I was going to say, I hope it kills one of you, but that's not honestly the biggest concern. I'm trying to think what my biggest fiendish thing is. Something that, like, definitely in my school era, one of the, one of the things that I did that I still find funny to this day, is I used to go to cooking club after school, because I'm a real cool kid like that. I used to enjoy cooking, so... I, I, I used to. I fucking still love cooking. Um, but, and so I, I used to like to do it in my spare time, and no one signed up for the cooking club, so me and all my friends signed up for it, and basically it just meant we stayed, like, two extra hours after school and got the cooking room uh, where they taught cooking to ourselves. It was really fun um yeah it was I, re I really really enjoyed it um and anyways we um bit when when we got to go home like after the two hours the the cooking room was like all the way at the back of the school so we had to walk through the entire in like the entire school and like through the playground and stuff um while there's no teachers about or anyone on the playground so we used to spend a lot of our time fucking about uh, also where the hell are my secret rooms here uh, we used to spend a lot of time just fucking about. Oh, there you go. That was easy enough. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do, but oh well. Um, I will at least grab the golden poop. The shining clicker is kind of an interesting concept. I don't think it's something we're going to be able to afford unless I bomb my donation machine. Let's go see what's going on with the shop, shall we? Um, and because of that, yeah, we used to we used to fuck around quite a lot because it's kind of a a rare opportunity to get the school to yourself for a little while. Um, and also we were usually laden with um with quite a lot of spare ingredients from the cooking that we just did, and so quite often we would just lob and throw all of our leftover ingredients at various places around the school. Um, so, like, people would come in the next morning and there'd be, like, puddles full of cucumber and, like, there'd be, like, bacon draping off of the, um, off of the, like, pipes and stuff and there'd be, like, a rotting half melon or something. <laughs> There's all sorts of crap. And I realise it's definitely wasteful to, to do that sort of shit with food, but eh, I was a kid, it's fine. Oh god, that's a, a speedy little brimstone you've got there. Nice one. And you're gonna give me Mum's coin purse, which I'm not particularly happy about, but I'm gonna gobble down all of these pills. 
The speed down is a, is a bit rough, but we did get a speed up, so I don't mind it so much. Let's go down this way and see what's what. What marks do we have as you? We actually have quite a lot done as you. Um, so I, I think a mother, a mother run could be kind of fun. And also, Judas's tongue could be real good. Does Judas's tongue work the same way the blue baby thing does now with soul hearts? I really hope it does. If it doesn't, that should be a mod. And if it is already a mod, please tell me about it. Oh, that is... That is too good to not tear. Don't know what the hell that thing I missed out on is. I'm not going to use it yet because I, I, I always like to kill the boss first. Because I'll be honest, I don't want cubes of meat. Although we could get wad of tumors, I think. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I think we can get wad of tumors out of it. Oh, damn it, I was hoping that'd be adjustment. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit wasteful to not use it straight away. But I'll be honest, I'd much rather get a more useful boss item and lose out on a little bit of HP. I think that's far more my style. Far more my style. But yeah, I'm like, I'm like hyping myself up to be like really energetic. Oh, these are new enemies. I saw them on the Slayer video. Um, hyping myself up to be like super energetic, high energy for this recording session. Um, I think I've got to be. I've got to like get myself in the mood for it sort of thing. Uh, I, I don't often do like big recording sessions because it kind of it gives me quite a lot of fatigue on the game that I'm playing, whatever it is. But sometimes needs must. And also, it's not like I don't enjoy it. Ah, it's a bit of a shame that I missed out on that. It's not like I don't enjoy it. Like, especially when I haven't been playing Isaac a lot, which I, I kind of haven't really recently. I've just been playing the runs that I've been getting. Um, ah, that's, just, that's actually not too bad at all. Some more keys here. That was a, a whiff and a half. You can try and smack me, but I do not condone it, big skinny boy. You slim fella. That was a lovely, lovely shot there. Will say, my hands are fucking freezing. It's really, really cold in the UK at the moment. It was snowing the other day. It was snowing. Why? You can't be doing that to me, weather. That's gross. A little bit sad to see that I'm finding the um, finding the item room. Uh, sorry, the the boss room so late. Although I say that and then immediately I see it right there because I'm an idiot. I, I just walked past it. Um, I should have done that before doing that room. But getting that black heart is intensely amazing. Um, and also, no way. Okay, I did not know the Book of Revelations would produce black hearts. I thought it would produce. Um, I thought it would produce what's its name. Uh, Fiend Hearts, because now we have a really reliable way to set boundaries in our HP to break up what gets taken first, which means that we aren't two hits away from death at any moment, or three hits would it normally be. Um, we're actually going to have a little bit more reliability. Now, this room has got me sketching out a little bit. Uh, there's just a lot of little sperm cells around doing their business. They're kind of getting on my nerves a little bit, but I can... Uh, oh, that was a good hit. Oh, what the fuck? He double hit me. Oh, he's triple hit me. Okay, I could easily die here. Let's be very careful. Luckily, my babies are absolutely swarming him. We should make sure we pick all these up in the right order. That was that was rough. Right. Just make sure we don't pick these up incorrectly here. What? Why did I... Why did I die? Does the Ghostbuster do do a damaging explosion on death? Because I I didn't know that. <laughs> All righty then. Um, I guess we're a Polyon now. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. Yeah, that was rather unexpected. I'm going to take the Void Bombs here. It's a little risky, but... Okay, that was a, a huge mistake on my behalf. I didn't realize that Ghostbuster did... Um... Like, when he died, I didn't realize that damaged you. And I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't realize that like it was still happening. I kind of thought it was over. My bad, I guess. My bad. Uh, so that was, that was Fiend, uh, our Fiend run cut relatively short <laughs> i gotta say and by relatively short i mean like we got two floors as the fiend out of that 
which is kind of funny. Oh god, that was not what I was expecting, my good sir. I've taken a lot of damage here. I have taken a lot of damage. I am still producing fires, though, as I would with Fiend, which is intriguing. So we have some of the fiendish mechanics still working in the back end, and it means I can thumbnail this as Fiend, and none of you can say anything about it. <laughs> I fooled you all into watching a run with a Polyon. How dare I? But yeah, I, I seem to be still producing fires every now and again. I still don't really know what the criteria for producing those fires are. Health isn't great right now. Also, hello heart, thank you. Now, I'm gonna guess this thing will, will have stopped producing black hearts at this point. <gasps> it's a golden evil sticker. I feel like I have to take that. I'm gonna do this. Oh, come on, game. Don't do me dirty like that. That is a little bit horrible. Excuse me, you can't just run away. That's not an option. Who you call him, Buckethead? Give me an extra penny! Come on. Come on, motherfucker, come on. Oh god, these, these goddamn shits. I can't, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. My small, small brain, I told you about this earlier, I can't comprehend so much stuff going on. I tell you what I am real hyped about right now. Like, I have some real high energy for. Like, just like... <sighs> that didn't really work the way I was hoping it would, but there you go, it's fine. Oh god, I got hit straight away as well. Now we're gonna actually die. That would be rather depressing. Nah, we, we got bombs, we're good. We got we got thingy bombs, actually. Those things slap us quite hard. Pop that now as well. Right, what's in here? I like that a lot. I'll tell you what, I like you a lot as well too. I'm I'm going whole hog, baby. The Judas's tongue gave us a very, very good out there, because both of those I believe are two heart deals. So I'm taking them. And Honestly, a Rotten Heart is so good with the uh, Star of the Bottomless Pit. Because we're going to get um, get thingies more regularly. Uh, blue Flies, which turn into Locusts. Honestly, the fact that we have three items so far from some something wicked is kind of awesome. By the way, I know so many of you are like, What's something wicked? Why can't I download it? It's my friend's mod that isn't public. If you want to try it... Go to my Discord, there is a link available for it. Do not fear. Any single person of any origin can play it if you would like to. Oh, beds are yes. But not also would have been pretty good there. Right, now we've got to be hyper careful. I'll be honest, I don't remember what our rooms between now and there were. But this run is too good to be ballsing up. Almost ballsed it up already, that was very close. Okay, I'm letting my snake boy do most of the damage here. I'm a little bit scared. Okay. We are golden, baby. Hell yes. Always a little bit saucy when going for that without the holy mantle unlocked. But there you go. Yeah, I have no idea if having two times the, the golden evil sticker will do anything for us, but I feel like this is a fiend run. We, we started off with a fiendish question of the day. I feel like it's only right to stick with the fiendish theme. But yeah, we have Star of the Bottomless Pit, this little worm thing, and the Void Bombs, which are all from Something Wicked. All very, very interesting and fun items. Um, and then we need to go this way. 
really? Could you not? I'm pretty sure this will still... Ah, bugger. I thought I'd still blow up the door there, but not quite. Right. But yeah, you can see that with our Rotten Heart, we're going to be dealing some damage. It's going to be good. I can't even remember if I finished my point earlier. I, I, I genuinely, like, cannot remember. I was talking about being excited, and then my brain just got scrambled. I was going to say, I can't remember if I already did, so I might be repeating myself here. But I found out about it recently that, um, ooh, a little, little golden bomb guy. Um, that there's, um, a Pokemon Fusion mod, like, out. Like a, a, a thingy game. Not a mod, but a, like a custom game. Where someone's made it so that you can, like, fuse Pokemon together and play with them. And it's like, Pokemon Fusions have been around for so long that people like splice two Pokemon into another. And now you can actually play it and there's like hundreds of thousands of combinations of Pokemon and I'm, it's just, I fucking love Pokemon games and that's like so exciting to me. I absolutely love that. Oh, hello. Greedy boys. Can I do this? Does this, is this gonna do something for me? It is, huzzah. ha -za. Oh, the, the fires are coming in here. Weird that both of our items there were leaves, but um, won't look into that. Oh, damn, it uses our bomb upgrade. Nice. Oh, golden bombs as well. This run has some real, real tasty peppers on it right now. I'm really liking it. Don't know why I decided to go for that. That was like the worst one to go for. Um... Because now, wait a minute, I think I think I can do this, actually. Didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but it kind of worked out. I've got to throw it over so that it bridges the gap. You see, oh yeah, we're getting so many curse pennies and um, shit bombs. I love it. Right. Let's keep this boy moving. Oh, you've got technology in there. Do not like that. And spicy keys as well. Oh, what the fuck? Error. We've also got the Sacrificial Effigy. Every floor, that's another something wicked item. Every floor spawns a sacrificial room if possible. Um, okay. Interesting. I don't think I want it, but it's interesting. Um, let me see if this uh, does its thing. It did, didn't really work the way I was hoping it would because it accidentally blew up the crane game, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It, it does seem that having two of them Having two of the stickers is helping us because um, we're definitely getting a lot and a lot of um, like copper bombs and curse pennies and the like. I love the fact that we have bird's eye and peppermint. It's my favorite thing. Dude, this guy is taking forever to kill. There you go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Oh, hello. Oh, what the hell is this? It's like a cursed battery. That's new. Let me fight the boss first, and then I'll come back and see what you do. Oh, you're a champion type. See, these bombs are really good to just drop around because the, the rings last. Beautiful. And we got a very, very good item out of this as well. Okay, let's go see what this, this cursed battery does. First of all, let's bomb this. Let's see you hiding there. It just gave me a battery charge. Maybe it's like the fiendish ones where it can sometimes take away a battery charge or something? I, I honestly don't know, but it seems cool. So many Discord messages right now. <laughs> someone, someone in my Discord um, has just taken to sending me copious amounts of cat TikToks, and I am not against it. I, I do not dislike it. It is a good tactic for something. I don't know what they're trying to do, but whatever they're trying to do, it's working. God damn, I'm a secret room god right now. Beautiful. Spawns two cards. 
Oh, come on now. I find it interesting that my bombs can generate fires. The sun I'm probably just going to use in the next room available. Save some time. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful heart there. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this run. This run is, is going muy caliente. Love these enemies. Really cool. We got this. Beautiful. I'm waiting for the all stats up from the penny. I'm waiting for it. Sometimes when you pick up a cursed penny, they can give you an all stats up. Sometimes they can also hurt you too, so we'll see if that happens. But I'm really hoping for the latter. No, the latter? The, the, the former. Don't give me the latter. The latter's the last one I mentioned, which means it'd be the bad one. So much freezing power. Right. Dead Eye is fantastic. Freezer maybe also would not have been a bad shout, but Dead Eye is just amazing. But yeah, I really like the fact that with Book of Revelations, it's not just holding it that gives you the horseman, it's using it on that floor. So you can save using it until the end of the floor and still get a spirit heart or more per floor. Also, another golden bomb here. I mean, we have to look for second secret room. It's been a trend so far. Not there. See, it could be, like, here. I, I don't actually know where else it could be, I'll be honest. It's been a trend. I have to go for it. I have to. Um, I'm thinking maybe the top of this room. No. Potentially here. But, um, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Right. Let's get this boss dead. This has been a quick, speedy mother run so far. Honestly, just use bombs. That's all we need. These bombs are so heckin' strong. Okay, I see what's going on here. I'm getting taking damage that I shouldn't be taking because I'm, to be honest, not paying anywhere near as much attention as I should be. You can clearly see that, I think. In my brain dead approach. Took way too much damage there, but overall didn't go too badly. I am gonna have to give away some of that HP to get down here, but I'm not too sad about that. Attempts to upgrade enemies. Any enemies upgraded have their health halved. Doesn't seem that useful, to be honest. Right. Mausoleum. We got the fireballs coming in. We got the dead eye. Oh my lord, how did I not get hit there? Do you know what we could really use now? Some luck upgrades. And some devil deals, which I've been missing out on. Past few floors. But health, health is not looking great this floor. Um, but I could still get a horseman here. And I, I really would like to see some unique bosses. Unfortunately, I'm not going to see the new one because that is on Gehenna only. Which is a little bit upsetting. I was hoping to see that. But there you go, that is what it is. Oh, okay. I thought he picked up my rock then. That's a black heart for us. Lovely. Spicy key there if we need it. We no longer have golden bombs. And we had, we've had golden bombs so regularly and so like on so many floors. I'm going to have to keep reminding myself that I don't just have them every floor. I will take the spicy keys here, because I'm a little low on keys. What on earth is this machine? What the hell's this? What the heck? This is intriguing. I can I can use an active for three cent a piece. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, I used my book by accident. Did not mean to do that. It's fine. We might get a horseman. I'd rather not. We might. Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool machine. I, I like. I think the the viability of it is 
probably pretty low in terms of how useful it's going to be. But it's, it's a pretty interesting idea. Uh, if it can give you any active as well, I imagine there's quite a few actives like the one I'm holding now that could be insanely useful to grab. This guy just juked the fuck out of me. Um, yeah, there's like, I guess a few actives that could be really, really good. But I'm, I'm feeling it might only be ones that are actually useful for combat. Oh, hello, big fella. Oh my god, I always forget you crawl out of the wall, you big, shifty fool. You scary motherfucker. You make some noises that my body does not agree with. Still don't really know how good the Ancient Hourglass really is. Teleport to the start of room, reels all rooms. I guess for just, like, gathering a lot of resources, it could be really good. Um, but it, it just seems like one of those items that, like, you kind of have to be a min-maxer to care about, because it's, it's requiring so much more time investment, and I just, just don't have the time investment, the, the care to put in the time investment, should I say. No secret room on either of those. Sad times. Look at this guy's on a warpath. Okay, my snake boy is, is doing a fine and dandy job. Dude, this run is bonkers good. <laughs> like, I'd like some more damage, but I, I feel like with Deadeye, we don't even really need it. Like, our base damage isn't amazing, but our damage, like, our augmented damage is pretty damn good. Like, the fires, plus the fact that Deadeye can double our damage, it's just, it's all good right now. It's all good, people. Right, so we, we did get a horseman, but it is a new horseman. One that I either haven't seen or don't recognize. Seems kind of tough. Oh my lord. Holy shit. I'm so confused at what's going on right now, but I'm really enjoying this fight. What is this purple stuff? It, it seems to have slown me last... Oh my fuck. How am I meant to dodge that? What the hell is this? This is so cool. I'm... I have very little understanding of what's going on, and that probably means I'm going to get hit more than I'd like, but this is really cool. Yeah, I'm getting hit so fucking much. <laughs> that was a really cool fight. And we did get water tumors, which I'm perfectly happy with. Um, unfortunately, our first, our first miss of the run, that devil deal, is Fat Dookie. But I'm very happy with water tumors, to be honest. I should have maybe just been using my book, because... Um, I think on the alt path they spawn, um, and getting water tumors to max rank would have been pretty cool, because I've never done that before. But, oh well, oh, I, I, this is a room that I despise. Rooms with these with these invincible guys, I'm just not a particular fan of anyways, because they, they just add a lot of length to the rooms. They take a lot longer. I'm just going to pop this, because we're fighting the, uh, we're fighting mum, so they can't do much to me. Did manage to hit me there, but I ain't worried. Come on, Snake Boy. Get him. Go on, get. Okay. How to jump. Another whiff, unfortunately. But that is Star Spawn. That's Tears up and damage you. Don't know what mod that was from. Quite like it, though. That might be a new Fiend Folio item, maybe? Cool visuals on it, too. Like, what it's done to our character. Oh, my God. Again with this bullshit. Why can't I fire right now? Hmm. Something has happened here, and I'm not quite sure what, but I have incredibly low fire rate and very, very high damage. I'm going to guess that's something to do with star spawn, but I, I genuinely can't be sure. Maybe it's something to do with getting hit? I have, in, I have insane damage right now, but... 
I have very, 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 very low fire rate. Not a big fan of that. I I'd rather shoot more with less damage. 1.05 fire rate in in my shtick. Is there any way I can get my fire rate back? Maybe it resets next floor? I, I really don't know at this point. For enemies like these, low fire rate just ain't it. I was going to do boss rush, but my fire rate just keeps getting lower and lower. It definitely something to do with getting hit. Because I got hit and it lowered again. Oh, there you go. It's back to normal now. Okay, that's that's good to know. Okay, so it's kind of like a fluctuating thing. It must be something to do with star spawn. Because it, it gave us tears and damage. And it's fucking with our tears and damage. That's pretty cool though. I, I quite like that. It's interesting. It's more of an incentive to not get hit, I suppose. Oh, and now it's going the other way. Now it's lowering my damage and giving me fire rate. Intriguing. Um, now my damage is super low. I'd rather my fire rate be really high though. I'm firing out more fires and all that good jazz. I'm wondering why I'm doing all this extra, by the way, on this floor. I would like to um, get to my shop. You can use the teleporters. Can all enemies use the teleporters? Am I done? Is that a thing that can normally happen? I can't remember. Yeah, look at all these fires. It's way better. Unfortunately, not really worth the trip. I suppose I could buy the battery charge. Let's buy this and use it. See what we get. The stars card. Not great. Buy the battery. Right. We on our way. We on our way. On our way. Let's go. Little pocket Bible. Actually, would be kind of nice right now. But honestly, Judas's tongue has kind of slapped for us so far this run. We have gotten a lot of value out of it. Right, so I'm hoping the fires just absolutely mince her. Which so far is very much proving to be an accurate representation of what was going to happen in this fight. Because goddamn, she got just annihilated there. I didn't make boss rush, unfortunately, because I fucked around too much with the shot. Which is... Really, my bad. Not very happy with myself about that. I really should have paid more attention, but... There you go. Oh my god, the fires. The fires are just annihilating this woman. Beautiful. Smell her, yes! Oh, wait, uh, that counts as a mum's heart unlock. I don't know why I wouldn't... I don't know why I didn't think it was, but yeah, smell was a great unlock. I like that a lot. Right, we're on our way. More Discord messages. What's the bet? It's more cats. It's some cats and also um, a friend asking if I want to play Call of Duty, but I have so much recording to do. It's, it's not feasible. Oh, my fire rate is very, very nice. Up to 7.16, baby. That's awesome. Let's just pop our stars card and see where it takes us here. See if it's in the right direction. Oh my goodness. This is like nearly soy milk levels of fire rate. Right? Where are you going, sir? You're an enemy that I do not trust. Fiendish heart, why not? Do I need to kill these towering pillars? This this room's kind of bloody. A lot going on in this room. Okay, now these pillars I do not have to kill.
They are doing some sort of wizardry though. I can hear them ding-donging. I'm not quite sure what it all means. These guys look new as well. Oh, are you absolutely kidding me? I flipped my damage over again. I stood on like the tiniest, piddliest little bit of creep. Fuck's sake. But yeah, we're going to be going through the merchants during the mother fight with our stats. Unfortunately, the stars card led me astray. Which, personally, I find excruciatingly offensive. I can't believe you've done this. Oh, for God's sake, I got hit again. My fire, it's going down, 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 down. I mean, my damage is fucking crazy, but it's besides the point. Oh, Lord, I'm just going to leave that room. That room is, it's got some stank on it. That's what I got to say about that. That was a positive something, apparently. I would like some fire rate back, please. Low fire rate hurts my soul. Ooh, god damn, look at this stank ass boy. Just, oh god, Fiend Folio is just the best. <laughs> There's just so many cool enemies. Ah, bugger. Okay, I did get some fire rate back there, though. Not an awful amount, but not seven point whatever it was, but still, it's something. This room over yet? No. Oh, it's one of you buggers where he hit you and you just spawn a thousand spiders. But if we turn you into ice, you can't do jack shit. Yes. One of my favorite things about turning enemies into ice. Also, kind of a bad thing. It's like a good thing because it stops enemies from doing... Um, from doing like their on death or on hit effects, but at the same time it stops them from being classed as actual kills for many items. Look at this guy run, he's goofy as shit, I love that. Right. Oh, we get water tumors again here. Yeah, I definitely should have been just using Book of Revelations the whole time on the alt path. Okay, we got some fire right back again. Oh, I poisoned myself, I got even more fire right back. Oh god. Oh, this fight is not easy. I mean, it shouldn't be. It's a corpse fight, but goddamn. My brain is melting. Oh, God, he's grabbed me. He's fucking grabbed me. Why aren't you taking damage, you good big fool? That was fucking cool. Kind of just keeled over there, didn't he? Dark Boom, it's a little late, but honestly, you might be okay. We'll take you. We'll take you. Right, let's hope we can beeline it straight to the boss here. And honestly, let's hope we can not get hit too much more, because our stats are pretty balanced at the minute between damage and fire rate. I'm pretty happy with where they sit. I mean, I prefer the seven, seven fire rate, whatever it was that we had before. That's pretty smexy. <gasps> Hierophon, this, you've already fucking paid for yourself, big boy. I mean, not not literally. You need one more soul heart to do that, but let's just say that you have, because I'm impressed. I am impressed. That's that's a. A devilish poop right there. Right. We got flesh wall. Like Terraria, get it? <laughs> right. We've unfortunately gone many a wrong way so far, which is often the case with my people small brain. Really cool design on this thing, the way that it, like, when it dies, it does that little thing where it throws up little pustules that turn into the floor that you can walk on. It's overall great stuff. Honestly, we're just freezing everything. We also got some damage there, love that. 
Love that so much. I don't know what that enemy was about to do, but I was scared to find out. Little bit of damage for me. That's a lot of hearts. <laughs> I mean, you... what the fuck is this? And why is it like glimmering gold? I didn't think it'd spawn that thing. What the hell is this thing? I mean, I kind of love him. He's my chunky boy. And he he's glimmering and gold, which I'll be honest, I thought only uh, golden enemies did that. And he doesn't seem to be a golden enemy, visually at least. But let's give it to him. Maybe it's just because he's so chunky been awarded a medal for chonkity. Chonkification. He's beautiful. Nothing can stop him. Okay, we're on 6.88 fire rate at the moment. I'm very happy with that. Come on, chonky boy. You can stay with us till the boss fight, can't you? Oh, yes, you can. My good, stinky big lad. It'll be a joyous occasion, as long as you don't die instantly, which you won't. Damn it. I mean, he's doing doing just fine already at the minute. He's been hit quite a lot and he's, he's kind of chunking through. I don't know if him being gold is giving him a ton more health or perhaps just making him invincible. Oh, I said that at the worst time. I'm sorry, my good friend. Right, our bombs are going to be like crazy good for the second phase. I just stood right in front of that. No regard for my personal safety whatsoever. Wow, he bopped that bomb so far away. Alright, the fires will take care of all of this. Keep getting bombs in there where we can. The, the fucking blast of the bomb does crazy damage, but the ring does good damage too. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Not the character we intended to play as, but it all it all came together quite nicely there. Ended off looking very, very good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, little portal. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.